hi all so in this tutorial we will see what all the various steps that we need to follow when we develop any web service using the axis one implementation okay so let's go ahead with the steps so the first step is add any web or application server to the eclipse so let me open the eclipse and let me add one server to the eclipse so web service uh, when we want to work with the web service there should be one app or web server application web server uh, need to be integrated with the eclipse otherwise we cannot work with the web service a server application must be integrated with the eclipse so let me go to eclipse and what i will do i will go to server and then see if see there are no servers no server servers so let me add tomcat server i already downloaded the tomcat server let me add this to the eclipse so tomcat should be in the Apache Tomcat 8 I have installed next so browse and then have that installed in this location so let me add this so this is the path I have to add I have to add the location where all the necessary files are there for the Tomcat server okay it is done Then next, as there is no application as of now in the Eclipse, so let me click on finish. So, Tomcat server is added. let me start this server once let me check this server is added properly or not so it is showing that uh, port 8080 required by tomcat this is already in use so I have to change this port so let me do that go to properties So so mm, let me start it showing 
that this uh, port 8080 is already in use so we have to change this port how we can do that just double click on this tomcat 8.0 at this server and here if you see in the port section there is one http 1.1 so 8080 is there right you need to modify this to something different that is not in use so i'm giving 8081 save it back clicking on control s from the keyboard and then try to start the server okay I'm starting the server so see now the tomcat server is started okay so let me close this and another important point to note here is the to develop the soap based web service you always have to choose the perspective as Java E, not Java. We need to select Java E perspective in the Eclipse tool. Okay. And then, so we have added one server in the Eclipse. Now, the next step is create new, new dynamic web project. So, let me go to create, let me create one dynamic web project file new. and let me go to other java e Sorry, type here dynamic web project so inside web you can see this dynamic web project so next give the project name so I'm giving as this is axis one so I'm giving axis one and I'm going to I will create one calculated service that will contain add on subtraction two methods add and subtraction so I'm giving a this name as calculator calculator okay and and all the default setting will be there just to make sure that dynamic web module version should be 2.5 okay so and then click on next and click on again next and then this should be selected that web.xml it will automatically generate web dot default web.xml file under web content directory so we should use this we will use this so click on finish okay we have created one dynamic web project in the eclipse with axis one calculator okay okay next steps the remaining steps we have completed first two web steps server addition and creating dynamic web project so that thing is done the remaining steps you will see in the next uh, next tutorial thanks thanks for watching